In this video, I'll give you the roadmap that you should follow if you want to become a consistently profitable Forex trader. All right, so this is my roadmap to consistently profitable Forex trading. I've pieced together this roadmap over the years from things I've learned from other people, uh, my own trading experience, and this is the process behind figuring out if a trading strategy will work for you, optimizing it, and really putting it through some stress tests to make sure that it works for you. Why is this important? Well, let's take a look at the majority of trading education out there. Most trading education focuses on the trading strategy itself, right? So what do people do? They take the trading strategy that they learned on YouTube, they put it into their live account, and either they blow up their account or they bleed it out to the point where they give up and say, oh, this trading strategy doesn't work. However, maybe that trading strategy could have worked if you put it through the right process. Now, let's say that you want to learn how to play soccer, for example. Are you going to go to the park and kick the ball around for half an hour? And because you suck at it, you say, oh, this doesn't work. So I'm going to try another sport. No, of course not. You're going to sign up for a league. You're going to get some coaching. You're going to watch some YouTube videos on how to kick correctly, where to position yourself etc etc right and if you think about it trading is weird in that way right because people expect to learn something on youtube and immediately be, su be successful with it whereas with any other endeavor it's going to take months sometimes years to become really good at that skill so if you want to really become good at trading you're going to have to learn the process of how to take these strategies how to take this these trading psychology concepts and integrate them into a process that helps you uh, gain confidence in trading and yourself. So let's take a look at this flowchart. All right, so to give you an overview of this, we're gonna start here with create a trading plan and that's where most people start and that's where you should start. You get a trading strategy from anywhere, from a course, from YouTube, wherever, it doesn't matter. And then you create a specific trading plan. You create a trading plan for the entries, the exits, how are you gonna move your stop losses, your risk management, all of that great stuff. And if you want a worksheet on how to work that out, you can go to tradingheroes.com and you can download the free PDF worksheet that I have. And you can just print that out, um, put on some, you know, write down some handwritten notes, and then you can put that into a Word doc or whatever later once you've worked it out. So that's the first step, create a trading plan. Now after that is where most traders get tripped up, right? Creating a trading plan is quite easy. However, we want to get to the end here Add to toolbox, that's where you add the specific trading strategy to your trading toolbox as a strategy that you will use in live trading. So what most aspiring traders do is they create the trading plan and they stick it in their toolbox. Well, they're missing all of this in the middle and this is the key stuff that we need to consider. So let's take a look at how this works. All right, so you have a trading plan, great. That's the first step. Next, you want to consider if this trading plan can be back tested. That's this step here and certain uh, trading strategies can be back tested or can't be back tested effectively. For example, scalping strategies, um, if you don't have the right type of data to back test with, scalping strategies can be a little tough to back test. Uh, fundamental strategies can be a little tough to back test, uh, especially if you don't have the news history or the right type of fundamental data. But if you can get that data, then it can be back tested. So if it's no, then you want to move into forward testing. And we'll get into forward testing in a little bit. I also call that beta trading. If it can be back tested, then you do the back test, right? And you can use a tool like Forex Tester, which is my favorite back testing tool. And you can manually go through the charts and practice as if you were trading live with your strategy. And if you want to get a discount on Forex Tester, here's a link here. This is my affiliate link. I do get a little bit of commission, but you also get a discount, so we both win. All right, so once you've back tested your strategy, you take a step back and you take a look at the results. Now in your back testing, you should test whatever you're planning to trade live. So that means the number of currency pairs, the chart timeframes, all of that stuff. Test it out and see what the results are. That brings us to this uh, step here. So you take a look at the results and you ask yourself, did the back test meet my trading goals? For example, maybe you want to make 15% a year. So did your back testing average out to 15% a year? Obviously some years will be better, some years will be worse, but on average, did it test out? And 
Keep in mind that you also want to test as much data as possible. So for example, if you're testing on the uh, daily chart, you want to go back all the way to 2001, 2003 or whatever you can get data for. And that will give you a better indication of how your strategy will perform in different market conditions. So let's say that your goal was 15% a year and you didn't hit that. Okay, so then you go back to your trading plan. Now you ask yourself, what can I do with this trading plan to boost the profits a little bit and make 15% a year? And I have some other videos on how you can do that, on how you can improve the return on trading strategy. Maybe you increase your risk a little bit. Maybe you decrease your risk a little bit. Uh, maybe you use multiple entries. Okay, so you tweak the plan, you test it again, and you see what the results are. And obviously this can take a little while until you hit your goal. But what's better, right? Figuring out that your strategy isn't working right now or losing real money later on, right? So this is, this is an essential step in the testing process. Okay, now let's say that you went through a few iterations and you hit your goal of 15% a year. So now it's time to go to forward testing. In order to forward test, you're gonna set up a demo account at your broker or the broker that you plan to use in the future. This is just play money, so you can blow the account out, you can reload the balance, you can uh, just play with it, and there's no pressure because this is not real money. So this is a great way to test out your strategy without the pressure of losing real money. So you're going to uh, trade in your demo account the exact same way that you back tested and see if you can hit the goals. Now, there are some reasons why you may not have the similar results in your forward testing as you did in your back testing. For example, maybe in your back testing, you could take all the trades, whereas in your forward testing, uh, your best trades might come at a time when you're actually sleeping or you're at work, right? Or you have to pick up the kids and your life can, your normal life can cause you to miss trades. Now you need to take that into account because you can't be trading 24 seven and you shouldn't be trading 24 seven, right? So you need to factor those things in and that's why forward testing is so important. And that's also why traders quit otherwise profitable strategies because they didn't take the time to do the forward testing process. Now you do the forward testing, you test for uh, whatever feels comfortable to you, um, you know, a few months, maybe six, seven months and see how it goes. And then you see if you hit your results or your goals. So if you do hit your goal, then you can move into live trading. And this is very rare, but it does happen. Uh, if you do hit it right off the bat and it matches up with your backtesting, then great, congratulations, that's fantastic. You're uh, way ahead of the game at this point. Then you're gonna stick into live trading and we'll talk about that in a minute. But if you don't hit your goals, then you have to go back to your journal. And you should be keeping a journal on every trade you take in forward testing. Uh, some people only journal their live trades, but you're missing out on a whole bunch of data if you don't uh, also journal your forward testing uh, trades. So you review your journal, take a look at your journal. I don't, it doesn't matter what you use, as long as you use something to track your trades and your performance. So you look at your journal and you ask yourself, are you trading, are you forward testing the same way that you back tested? If that's an issue and you're not trading in forward testing the same way that you back tested, then you're gonna have to adjust. Then go back and forward test again. And now let's talk about this adjustment a little bit. Um, maybe it could be adjusting the time of day that you trade. Maybe you're not following the rules exactly. Maybe you're getting excited and pulling the trigger too often, which is a, which is a problem that I had. So you want to review what you're doing and try and figure out why you're not getting the same results. Then go back to forward test again and see if you can hit those goals. Make these little tweaks and make sure to note that down on your trading plan. Now, if you are trading it the same and you know that you're, you're confident that you're trading exactly the same as you back tested it, then it really comes down to limiting beliefs. This gets into trading psychology. Do you have a lack of discipline because you're not following the rules? Do you have a limiting belief about money? Uh, maybe you're sabotaging yourself because you think that you should only make a certain amount of money, things like that. And there are so many different psychological reasons that I could not go over them in one video. But if you're interested in exploring this, then I have a very long blog post on uh, advanced trading psychology. Just go to tradingheroes.com and search in the search bar 
to find that blog post and you can kind of go through the things that I've tried and I've seen work for other traders and you can figure out your psychological hangups that way and also figure out ways that you can potentially treat those hangups. And this is a whole big ball of wax that is really at the core of successful trading. Uh, I believe that successful trading is 90% psycho psychological and only 10% strategy. So take the time to figure that out. And again, this is a great time to figure out your psychological hangups because you're not trading real money, right? So once you identify that it's a limiting belief or it could potentially be a limiting belief, then work on that, work on that here. And then go back to forward testing and see if those changes can improve your results. Now, if you're positive that it's not a limiting belief and it's something else, then you're gonna to have to go back to your training plan and test this all over again. There is something there that is causing you to lose money. Maybe it's uh, different market conditions. Maybe it's something that changed fundamentally that uh, is giving you different results um, right now as opposed to in the, in the past. So if you're absolutely sure that it's not your psychology, then you go back and you create another trading plan uh, you tweak it a little bit or you can try another trading strategy but that's going to be very rare in my opinion i believe that most of the time it's some sort of psychological hang up here that is causing a negative result and that's something that you need to address right now because if you don't address it it'll come out later and it could blow up your account okay so let's say you get that figured out forward testing is all good so you hit your goal and so now you're ready to go to live trading. So you trade live, and this is a very similar process. Make sure you journal your trades, make sure you um, are hitting your goal, and monitor your account constantly. Uh, make sure that you're trading the same, if not adjust. And again, this is where psychology is really gonna rear its head because you're trading real money. Sometimes you can be trading quite a bit of real money. And if you have any hangups about earning money or keeping money, and they're going to come out here and i believe that the psychological uh, gremlins so to speak are going to come out much more in live trading than in forward testing but if you can figure them out in forward testing first and they come out there and you can take care of them then there'll be fewer gremlins to take care of in live trading and again if uh, it's not a limiting belief it's, if it's not a psychological hangout that's causing you to lose then you're going to have to go back and tr uh, tweak your trading plan again and then go through the process. However, if you do hit your goal, then you can add this trading plan to your toolbox. And now this is a strategy that you can use to make money in the markets. Now from here, maybe you want to add another strategy or maybe this strategy is good enough. Whatever the case is, now you've gone through the entire process and if you want to add another trading strategy, then you know the process and you know how to go through it and vet these trading ideas that you find on the internet. So that's the roadmap to becoming a consistently profitable Forex trader. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I know this seems really easy as a concept, but in practice, it's actually quite difficult, especially the trading psychology parts. So if you need additional help, I have a course called Trader Evo that takes you through every step of this process. And the program can help you figure out where you're going wrong in your trading. All right, if you found this video useful, subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.